Welcome back to Explore, and we get three people on this electric scooter here. I know I'm not judging you. You're amazing. No, don't, don't look at me like that. I'm not. <laughs> I see something cool. I see something cool. Yeah. Have you seen something cool today? All right. One, two, three. Let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. She was like, yeah, man. Relax. Anyways, um, all right. So we can uh, we start the video right by the by the river. So it's more interesting. Well, this is something more interesting. But. This is the Bode Museum right there. Like I've never seen three people on an electric scooter. Sorry. Like if I just stop and film you. Not everybody loves three films. But, uh, no, okay. if you don't want me to film you, just let me know, and then I won't. Uh, if you just like stand there and like, look at me, like, <laughs> how am I supposed to? Am I supposed to guess what you what you're thinking? I don't know. Anyways, uh, yeah, I used to be called like the paparazzi because I used to take like a lot of pictures of people. Now I just film them. Um, I know, it's, it seems a little weird sometimes, but, you know, that's the direction we're taking anyway. Tomorrow, more and more people will be filmed by government entities rather than just other people, as the Chinese government is doing. Anyways, um, here we are in front of the Bodhi Museum. It's... Uh, Actually, the first time I go filming in Berlin, and it's my last day. Yeah, that's there he is. Bode Museum. Bode. Yeah, just to get back to that because it's just like it. It's still right there. film you then don't do weird stuff like being true on a scooter which is I think it's super cool but uh, you know some people might not and uh, while well, you're gonna get like all sort of reactions I guess. So that was my reaction, starting uh, trying to start a video on the front, the front nod. Oh, that's a French expression. So in the nod, the amusant. You know, like start a video in a fun way. Run 
the Brandenburg Gate. Uh, it's not too far from here. It's about 15 minutes walk maybe. Oh, it's actually getting cold. Put this back. By the way, I'm gonna film uh, more videos of Berlin this spring and maybe this summer again. So, uh, yeah, I really wanted, I really wanted to insist on uh, a winter feeling on those videos. That's why I'm, I'm also wearing that, despite from the fact that I actually wouldn't need it. Bahnhof Friedrichstraße, the U-Bahn, the S-Bahn, everything is there. Friedrichstraße is the most central, I mean, the most central point in Berlin. So the last time I'm staying in the Friedrichstraße right now, uh, it starts to end. I was checking the prices.
those old tools. <laughs> I thought she was saying hello to a friend. She actually saying hello to the camera. Okay. Now. Wow, that's really cool. So you get three different lines. Like both lines. Let's start from here. Oh. Okay. Well, you know, I prefer the spirit if she was actually like saying hello to the camera. That's, you know, it's, it's almost as cool as being free on an e-scooter, but it's much more friendly as his reaction. not to scare them off. Let's go very slow. In our culture, pigeons are not a very noble, it's not a very noble animal, but actually in Islam, pigeons are it's a very noble Pigeon is a very noble animal and it's considered sacred if I'm not wrong. I learned that when I was in Egypt. I mean all of that because we can be dirty, but I mean which animal is not dirty anyway and they are so cute. Oh, oh. just fly off a little bit and then like get back on the ground realizing that it might be danger but probably not get a train here passing
okay, we're very close now. Just have to make a turn. just be around the corner on the right. about 30 40 kilos and it's pretty solid and sturdy yeah. you can uh, carry three grown-ups on it oh, they also have like proper scooters like that the same brand here That's the one.
Imagine if you have watched the TV show uh, The Man in the High Castle also, or if you heard of it, or if you want to Google it and check it out, imagine if the Nazi had won the war, then, and I'm, I'm watching the third season now, Then Berlin would be like the center of the world rather than more like the US. And um, <clears throat> I mean, I don't regard that myself as a, as a wonderful thing. But uh, yeah, it's the past. Uh, obviously, today's Germans have nothing to do with uh, the Nazis or the Germans that supported the Nazis, which were brainwashed into supporting them. Um, yeah, that's, uh, it, it kind of scares the shit out of me, actually. Imagine, I mean, that's why you, you gotta be grateful not only for the life you have compared to uh, the life of some other people, which is worse, but also the world we live in, which is a free world. I mean, and not every country is free, obviously, a lot are not, <sighs> but but um, generally speaking. Like most of the world is free, but a huge chunk of the world is, is free. And, and if you are, you know, like a Westerner and uh, with your white white male privilege, which is I know most uh, people watching my my channels are guys. Um, I'm not saying that like in a, uh, from a political perspective. I'm just saying that. Uh, we're lucky. I mean, we're lucky, but you know, it, it could have been not so much to make us not so lucky, you know, and, and to be on the other side of the spectrum and to be in real trouble uh, if the Nazis had won the war. Yeah. It would have happened. Maybe if, he, if the theory of like parallel worlds is true and the multiverse which is a really held on a scientific 
proper background, or uh, despite the fact that it cannot be proved. Um, this could be real in many of these parallel worlds. I mean, this monument here might be regarded uh, in many uh, parallel worlds as, you know, like the world leading monument even nowadays. Um, you know, I hope not, but it's, it's, it's quite a, a strong probability. So, um, so yeah. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, that was Explore, and uh, we're gonna keep exploring a little bit more. And just if you wanna keep exploring with me, just please be my guest. Hit the like button, the subscribe button if you like the video, and see you in the next episode. That was the front of the gate. On the book, book, uh, oh, talk, talk, meaning, uh, huh. door.